Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom. America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. And we have a doozy to present to you today. It is a Hankster certified unit. It is a 1971 big block SS Chevrolet Chevelle. Let's check it out. Let's start out with the motor. Uh, the indication on the fenders is a 454. The motor is a 496. Uh, it was put in in 2018. We do have a receipt for that from Summit Racing. Um, and it was a brand new crate motor. We do have the paperwork on the motor as well. <clears throat> in the driver's side hood closure, there is a call tag. Uh, you can choose to break that call tag down if you'd like to. It will be on our website. The big silver contraption in the back on a driver's side firewall, that is your power brake booster. Uh, since this motor is producing some horsepower, you have a vacuum canister there to assist with the braking system. And then, of course, uh, up here in front, you have your uh, power steering reservoir because the car is equipped with power steering. Now, the car does not have AC. If it did, there'd be an AC compressor mounted somewhere probably over right about here. Um, however, uh, we do have the kits for big block Chevelles in stock. Um, if you need AC added to this car, if that's something that is of interest to you. It is a fantastic car. Let me get my hood pins in here. Uh, red in color, black stripes. Um, I believe the stripes are painted on, but the uh, paint up top here, real good. No cracks or blemishes in the stripes. No issues with the hood, no issues on top of the fenders. Real nice uniform uh, paint color and clear throughout the entirety of the top of the uh, vehicle. Does have the upgraded halo headlights, so check those out. We'll show you those when we do the engine run. Uh, SS badge in the center of the grill. It is a true SS car. The uh, front bumper chrome, pretty good. Uh, about a, probably eight and a half to nine out of 10. Uh, no rust or pitting in the bumper, no chrome peel. Uh, very faint scratching up top here. If you want to get you know really nitpicky, but overall chrome quality and clarity up front is really good. <clears throat> Let me get down here. Yep. Five star American racing wheels on radial tires. That gives the car a sweet look. Uh, disc brakes up front. The uh, uniform color and paint and clear that started out on the hood continues on the driver's side fender. Uh, who doesn't love a mus American muscle car uh, that's red, especially a Chevelle? You know, just a very badass looking car. Let's take a look at the uh, glass clarity, starting with the front windshield. Uh, it does have your antenna in the front windshield there, if you could see it. Uh, the uh, chrome clarity around your uh, front window molding, real nice. Uh, and then the uh, front windshield, no cracks or chips in it. Before we continue down to the side of the car, let's jump up onto the roof. Uh, nice uniform color and clear uh, throughout the entire roof. Uh, real nice paint. Drip rail moldings are installed just like they should be. The car is equipped with dual chrome mirrors, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. And the glass clarity uh, is awesome on the driver's side door glass and then the quarter glass as well. <clears throat> Before I open up and jump into the interior of the car, let's look at the door fitment, uh, uniform body lines uh, from the top of the uh, fender here and the uh, rear quarter runs down. Door lines up nicely with the rear quarter and the uh, lower rocker there. And then let's take a look at the paint condition at the bottom of the driver's door. Real nice down there, no issues, no bubbles, blisters, cracks, anything like that going on. Let's take a look at the interior. Did I mention it's a center console four-speed car? Awesome. Door panel, first of all, pretty much flawless. Uh, your chrome here that has a tendency to want to peel off uh, is all in one piece and on the door uh, panel here. The door panel at the bottom is not all warped. Armrest is in nice shape. <clears throat> Your courtesy lights illuminate in the floor. When I open up the driver door, you got a set of brand new floor mats. Three pedal car, you got those bow tie insignia, uh, gas pedal, I'm sorry, not gas pedal, brake pedal and clutch pedal. And the gas pedal has the SS on there. So that's a pretty cool uh, feature of this car. Front and rear OEM seat belts. Those are not the $20 part store seat belts. Those are the real deal uh, General Motors seat belts. Those seatbelt kits, not sure if you know it or not, but they're not cheap. 
Uh, the vinyl in the back's awesome. The uh, headliner, the dome light illuminates when we open up the driver door, and then the headliner does not have any rips, tears, uh, discoloration, wrinkles. Real nice headliner in the car. The uh, front seat, uh, your cushion's great. Your uh, vinyl is fantastic. Does have an aftermarket three spoke wheel with the red bow tie emblem in the center. Uh, Hearst four speed shifter. Uh, center console car. Floor mats brand new. Carpeting underneath the floor mats in great condition. This car is awesome. It really is. Let's take a look at the rear quarter. First of all, dropping down from the roof to the rear quarter. Paint's in real nice shape. Around your uh, wheels here, you have uh, wheel opening moldings, chrome. Those are all in nice, nice shape. <clears throat> your uh, Five Star American Racing and his drum brakes in the rear, as you can see through the wheel there. Uh, your Five Star American Racing wheels, chrome quality and clarity is fantastic. No pitting or rust going on there. Get a shot of the body lines down the side of the car. Real nice uh, body lines on the car. Back to our glass clarity. Uh, rear window glass in real nice shape. You can see there your hat rack speaker shelf area. Uh, black carpeting up there. Uh, paint on the deck lid and on the top of the rear quarters. Real nice uh, uniform color and uniform clear. Chrome clarity in the rear of the car. Fantastic. Dual tips there. Dual exhaust sticking out uh, beneath the lower valance. <laughs> Check out this trunk. Now for those of you that are fans of jacks and spares, this car does not have one. <clears throat> or them. For those of you that are fans of car shows, you can show everybody at the car show your nice uh, SS 454 Chevelle trunk. Pretty cool. Uh, done really nicely. Build sheet. This car does have a build sheet, so for those of you resale value purposes, proving that it's a uh, true SS purposes, uh, there's your build sheet. We'll have a photo of that on our website. And then it, there is your uh, part number, BP4962CT, uh, from Summit Racing for your 496 Blueprint engine. Uh, there's also the receipt in there dated from Summit as to when the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, when the motor was purchased, but uh, the rest of it is just like miscellaneous parts receipts, nothing to really bring to your attention, just the common everyday stuff you buy for these classic cars. When was the car painted? We do not have that information. Um, the paint to me looks fairly new. I would say within the last five years would be my guess, probably around the same time, you know, 2016, 17, 18, when that motor was installed. Usually people do the mechanics first and the paint next or vice versa. So, but uh, real nice uniform color and clear on the rear quarters, both driver and passenger side. Uh, the red is deep color. Uh, no f areas of clear coat fade or any kind of paint fade at all. The glass clarity and chrome clarity on the passenger side mirrors the drivers. You know, the uh, drip rail moldings are installed properly. Your quarter window, door glass, uh, both real nice, good clarity there. Let's get a shot of the door before we hop into the interior on the passenger side. We'll shoot low on the quarter there um, and low on the door so you can see that there's, there's no uh, Bondo blisters, filler pop down low, paint uh, cracks. <clears throat> if you're looking for a 71 Chevelle, this is your ticket. Red and black with a four speed in the center and a pretty much brand new motor. You got a nice door panel here on the passenger side, just as the driver's side. Again, the interior, you know, it looks definitely newer to me. Uh, take a look at the seats. Take a look at the center console. Take a look, well, the floor mats we put in there, so those are brand new. But uh, carpeting's real nice condition. Dash pad's in real nice condition. All your uh, bezel clarity is real uh, fantastic. Again, your courtesy lights are illuminating when I open up the passenger door. <coughs> Passenger side front fender. Um, I, I haven't seen anything on this car to paint out as, <laughs> I could talk. I haven't seen anything on this car to point out as far as paint is concerned. 
Um, real nice, you know, high and low throughout the entire body of the car. Uh, there's no spider webs, there's no fish eyes, uh, paint blisters, cracks. Just a, a fantastic uh, piece of inventory. A Hangster certified unit, which means at full retail price you do receive shipping as well as your uh, powertrain warranty. This is a fantastic car. Uh, we are we have been very fortunate lately to run a lot of really awesome inventory through our showroom um, and the uh, great pieces like this one sell you know almost instantly especially when you're talking about a Chevelle, a four-speed Chevelle, a four-speed red Chevelle. Uh, listen, we are in an awesome business. It uh, is very fun to buy these cars, sell these cars, uh, meet collectors and uh, muscle car and collector car enthusiasts from around the uh, entire globe. Thousands of visitors to our showroom each month. We really get to meet a lot of cool people from a, a lot of different walks of life and that all have different purposes for these cars. They're cool. There's a lot of nostalgia, a lot to talk about. They have a great look to them. You know, Chevy's even talking about, you know, they're teasing. They've been teasing for a couple of years now to reintroduce the Chevrolet Chevelle uh, in like a 70s theme uh, car, modern day 70s theme car. So the, the desire, the want is there, right? And uh, our market for us, luckily, uh, is extremely strong. But I do encourage you to visit our showroom, check these cars out for yourself. We sell 40 to 50 year old cars. Many of them have gone through color changes, drive cha drivetrain changes, interior changes, um, you know, wiring reverse lights, wiring up different headlights, halo headlights, you know, things like that. So there's only so much we can show you in a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. But if you visit our showroom, you can go over the car yourself, take your time. Uh, you know, we'll pull it outside for you. You can check out the paint real good out in the sunshine. Check out the interior. We'll gladly put it up in the air for you if you'd like us to. You could check out the entire bottom of the car, just like we're going to do right now on our Chevelle. You know, check out the exhaust system, the tires, the suspension components, uh, you know, your floor pans. We'll let you drive it. By the way, this thing, I, the, the, the blueprint uh, specs on this motor is supposed to be pushing like 600 horse. So we're going to go out and we're going to test that notion here in uh, just a couple minutes. But, uh, you know, drive the car. See how it performs. See how it accelerates, stops, steers, drives, rides, handles. This way, if there's anything you don't like, you can experience it and see it for yourself. Again, we try to disclose and uh, show you as much in a 20 to 25 minute video presentation as we possibly can, but we're not going to be able to cover every last thing. So if your expectations are a little higher or you're a, a more specific or particular buyer, please visit our showroom and check it out for yourself. Otherwise, yep, we do uh, bank wire transfers, you know, um, offsite financing. Uh, we can ship you these things, no problem. That's how the majority of our transactions are conducted, sight unseen. Um, we've been doing it for over 30 years, not only out of this location, but also even longer. In fact, three times as long in our Homer City PA store as we've been doing it here in Daytona Beach. So hopefully our longevity in this business tells you something about the quality and quantity of vehicle we move through our showrooms month after month and year after year. Let's put our 71 Chevelle up in the air and we'll check out the undercarriage. Underneath our 71 Chevelle 496 car, disc brakes up front. Get a shot of the front of the motor past the cross member. So as we stated already, the motor was installed in 2018, so it's brand new. So it, uh, well, I'm sorry, it's not brand new, but it's newer. I mean, you know, it's not like people are driving these cars 30, 40,000 miles a year. There might be a couple thousand miles on it. Uh, passing the cross member and continuing on to the back of the uh, motor, there's not much you can really see. Mini starter, hypo mini starter in the way, headers in the way. Uh, speaking of exhaust system, you do have dual headers on your driver and passenger side. It's going to go into dual pipes and then dual mufflers that we'll show you here momentarily. The floor pans on the car are fantastic, just like the rest of the car. All one piece here on the driver's side all the way back. Passenger side is the same exact way. Real, real, real awesome car we have here. Uh, disc, disc brakes in the front, drum brakes in the rear, as we showed you earlier in the walk around presentation. Of course, it does have the uh, 12 bolt, and it's got that chrome 12 bolt, so that provides an extra 25 horsepower. Um, the gas tank looks to be newer, 
Frame rails on the car in real nice shape, both driver and passenger side, no issues there. Let's see if I can pull a, uh, so the tires are from 2017. Remember I told you the, um, the uh, motor from 2018, tires are from 2017, so my guess would be that's when the majority of this uh, restoration on this vehicle took place. A lot of new components were added. And you can tell that paint, interior, wheels, tires, motor, all fantastic on the car. If you're in the market for a big block Chevelle, I suggest you strongly consider this one. I look at, buy, sell a lot of cars. And uh, I know a good car when I see it, and this is a good car. Cash buyers, we accept cashier's check from your bank and then bank wire transfer. If you're financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do five to 15 year loans on these cars. 10% down of the purchase price is gonna be your minimum required down payment. So if you're talking about a $50,000 car, you're talking about five grand down out of pocket. You can do more if you'd like to, but they're gonna require a minimum of 10%, even if your credit score is 9,000. Now, if you have a higher debt to income or you know, you have maybe a lower credit score, they might require 20, even 25% down, but 10% is the minimum. No prepayment penalty. So let's say you get approved for a 10-year loan on this car and you paid off in two, you aren't gonna get penalized for doing that. So that makes it nice to own one of these classic collector cars as well. No matter what your uh, method of payment is, whether you're cash or financing, once the vehicle's uh, paid in full, we put the car through a pre-delivery inspection process. They're old cars. Anything can stop working, stop leaking at any given moment. Therefore, we put the car through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility, and the guys in the shop give me the green light that it's okay to ship. Once the uh, car is through inspection, it goes through detail, and then a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, if you're in a more rural or remote destination, uh, please allow us four, five, six business days, but I promise you we will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. And if you're uh, local to us picking it up or you're coming from a distance, trailering at home or sending your own driver, we'll let you know when it's ready and you can send for it. Let's go out and drive this bad boy. Okay, we're inside our 71 Chevelle horn. Driver side turn. While we're there, let's do tack. Oil pressure. Uh, passenger side turn. Clock does not work. We don't mess with clocks. So I assure you when the car shows up, the clock won't be working. Temperature. We'll keep an eye on that in a test drive. Fuel gauge is working. Radio works. How about wipers? Those work too. And thankfully, we will not need those today. The car's idling nicely. Um, headliner, like I said, in the showroom is in uh, great shape. So it's a dash pad. I'm going to like driving this thing. So let's do it. There's not a whole lot of cars that make me smile. This car makes me smile. This car is freaking fantastic. Holy cow. Let's do our Speedo first. It is functioning, it's not bouncing around. Our temp's coming up. The uh, steering on this car is fantastic. The car's got a real nice smooth ride to it. There are no issues as far as engine vibration, tranny vibration. Uh, the reason I said this car makes me smile is because when you step on the throttle, it moves for sure. This car is fun. I like it. I love it. Brakes. See how we're not uh, vibrating, pulsating. Barely any movement in the shifter. Real nice smooth ride. No tire vibration. This thing's a beast. Again, brakes. Got a green light here, so I'm going to stop. Watch this. Seventy five like nothing. 
this car is set up to run. That uh, 600 horse I was talking about in the showroom, it's got it. I mean, I don't have a dyno to prove it, but I drive a lot of cars. This car is, this car will run for sure. What a fantastic vehicle. Great color combination, four speed, 71. It's not brand new, but it's a newer motor. The, the uh, keyway for the shifter, it's one, two, three, four, boom, no problem. Uh, great looking set of wheels and tires on the car. Just a fantastic, fantastic vehicle. Look at that. And this car has a cam in it, you know. I don't know what the cam is. Read the specs of the motor, but uh, I mean, listen to it idle. I don't have my foot on the throttle. You know, we're not stalling out. It's not sucking air or starving for air or starving for fuel. It's set up perfectly. Very, very, very nice job. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach if you are interested in this 71 Chevelle. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you'll find all the photos of this car along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, this 71 Chevelle includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. Warranty is good on the engine, transmission, and rear end. It doesn't cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, the radio, the clock, whatever else you can think of that's not part of the powertrain. It does, however, include your major mechanical breakdowns. It's good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, which is most independent and franchised facilities, as well as your dealerships. You just can't take it to Joe's backyard garage. Is the price of the vehicle negotiable? It most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. It's good at full retail price only, and there's no exceptions to that. Also, the shipping comes off. At full retail price, it's turnkey. You get the uh, security of our warranty, and you get the uh, luxury of us handling the shipping. That means we set up the pickup, we set up the delivery, we pay the driver, we track the progress of the car. At a negotiated cost, you could do all that legwork on your own. Maybe you're a collector, investor, or enthusiast. If you don't have your own open or enclosed trailer, HankstersHaulers.com does. Check out HankstersHaulers.com. It's where you can find ATC trailers. Uh, very, very high quality trailers um, offered. And guess what? We ship those too. So we can ship you your trailer to haul around uh, your classic car or two or three or whatever you may have. Maybe you're local to us here in the Sunshine State and you want to uh, come drive this 71 Chevelle home, you're more than welcome to do that as well. And if you have a carrier you've used in the past, you had a good experience with, you can use them. Hangsters.com, Hangsters Hot Rods, we are located in Daytona Beach, Florida. And also check out our new trailer sales portion of our business, hangstershaulers.com. We'd love to earn your business. Check us out.